Sir, um, what are your um, initial plans in general for the DFA? Well, I want to ensure that the DFA uh, and our people uh, continue to uh, undertake our um, functions and our responsibilities uh, in a very professional way. And I want to assure everyone that uh, we are uh, we have hit the ground running and I think that, uh, uh, that there's been a very, very smooth transition and we are going to prepare the way for the whoever might be the next uh, Secretary of Foreign Affairs. We want to be sure that uh, the department uh, maintains its reputation of, uh, of professionalism and dedication. And I want to ensure that in all, all aspects of our work, uh, we will be continuing uh, to do our job. Uh, Mr. Secretary, there are reports that um, you might be uh, um, replaced as a uh, Secretary of Foreign Affairs in a few months. What can you do in a few months? Well, we will try, and as I said, to continue our work. That's the best that we can do, and, and to uh, uh, follow the uh, President's instructions, and just to ensure that whoever may come here uh, next, uh, hopefully everything will be in place, and that uh, there won't be too much of a, a problem in any transition. So that's what we're aiming for, to make it uh, as smooth as possible. Will there be major changes in the DFA under your watch? Uh, well, I wouldn't say major changes, but we, we have to study and see uh, what can be improved. Let's put it this way, not, not changes, but how we can improve things that can be improved. And certainly to, uh, to uh, if there have been any um, uh, mistakes, to see how they can be corrected. But as I said, uh, I'm basically um, aiming at really uh, ensuring that we continue to do the work that the DFA, I think, uh, is, is uh, mandated to do, and we will try and do that uh, the best way we can.